Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and in this video, we have an ultra light kit, a titanium kit from Fire Maple. Now, I want to say thank you to Fire Maple for sending these products out for review. You can purchase these separately or you could purchase them as a ultralight kit. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the Alti 0.9 liter titanium pot. I'm very excited about this. So if you are ultra light and you want the lightest and very durable equipment, this is a good option. So here we have a parts breakdown one two three four so depending on what number you're confused about let's say number one for example you can come up here and find out that number one is the handle or the bell so very cool written in different languages so this is this is titanium cookware designed for expeditions trekking campfire if you're a van lifer if you're limited on space maybe you're an off-gridder or you're just, uh, like in my case, going to be traveling on a motorcycle and you want to be able to cook or boil water or make a meal, you can absolutely do that with this titanium kit. So this is titanium and here are the dimensions, folded and unfolded. So the folded dimensions, 5.1 by 4.7 by 4.5 inches and the weight is 6.6 .6 ounces. 188.7 grams. The capacity of this pot is 0.9 liters. So I'm, I'm guessing that's around 30 ounces or something like that. 31, yeah, that says it right there. 31.7 US ounces. That is absolutely fantastic. Made out of titanium. That is pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at the stove and then we'll unbox both of them and look at them and test them. So this is model FMS 300T. Again, this is made out of titanium, just like the pot. So you have that same breakdown. Number one is your pot stand. Very cool. And then here's some of the specs. Again, we're using this for trekking expeditions, motorcycles, van life, all that kind of stuff. You can use this. Uh, the dimensions 1.57 inches by 2.01 inches and that's folded. That is tiny. And this thing puts out 2.6 kilowatts of performance. That's 8,872 BTUs. That is fantastic. Made out of titanium, ultra light and compact. Oh wow, let's open this up. As you can see, it comes packaged very well. There's a little piece of plastic there. We'll just set that down. We'll pull the stove out. And don't forget, down in the bottom of the box, it looks like there's a little stuff sack down there. So we'll set that back, set the stove down for a second. And here is the little stuff sack that comes with the stove. Very nice, and inside, I'm guessing it's a user manual or something. There's some kind of paper in there. Can't think of what else it would be. Instruction manual for this stove. And again, like I mentioned, you can purchase this separate or you can get it as a kit. So very cool. Specifications. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to give you a brief brief look here. There's not really that much to, to show anyway. So just some cool little pictures. How to use it. If you don't know how to use this little stove, you're hurting, folks. These aren't that hard to figure out. Okay, let's take a look at the stove itself. That's what it looks like opened up. That is fantastic. You got your little valve right here, and this will thread onto a standard Lindell valve, Lindell fuel canister. Looks like it's got some brass, aluminum, titanium, and I like these pot supports because they come down and they hit the side here and they stop. Boom. That is pretty cool. And then they fold out of the way, just like that. 
they fold all the way down and there's this little tag on here so if you want to read that feel free to read that tag I usually remove these tags off of my products so that's what the stove looks like folded up without the little tag on it that's a top of the burner head very interesting design let's see how it fits in this little pouch yeah it fits in there plenty you probably have room to put like a big mini in there fire maple nice little drawstring very basic pouch but that's pretty cool now let's take a look at this pot I'm very excited about this as well so just like the stove it comes in a stuff sack which is very nice little drawstring enclosure here you can open this up set the stove on there so it doesn't blow away comes with this plastic coating so we're gonna have to get that off looks like I might be able to start it from the bottom okay that wasn't too bad oh I like that bell I like that handle let's pull this off that's a nice looking little pot and it holds almost a liter 31.7 ounces that's a pretty good capacity for that little pot I like that those little handles fold back those little butterfly handles I love the bell it locks in the upright position so if you wanted to hang this off of a tripod over a fire or something you could I love the d-ring here so if it's hot you could take a stick and pull that lid off with just a stick that is wonderful oh they did another thing that I really like they got graduation markers that you can read from the inside of the pot that is fantastic so I'm looking down at the bottom 8 ounces 16 ounces 24 ounces love it wow this is a nice nice little pot I think this is gonna be fantastic and the the diameter of it you can tell I can tell just visually that um, it'll easily nest a Nalgene bottle my hydro flask is able to nest in there and my hydro flask is about the size of a Nalgene bottle wow that is nice I really like this titanium that stuff is very durable you can put this over a fire over a stove you can even use it in your van this is nice and it doesn't weigh anything I love that I don't have a small four ounce uh, fuel canister look at that you can take the bell off if you want I don't have a four ounce isopro fuel canister but I do have an eight ounce one so I don't think this would fit in there it's too big but the smaller one the smaller one definitely will fit in here I don't have one with me but I can tell you that it'll fit so that is fantastic I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the stove and see what it looks like so we'll just unfold it once again we'll get all three of them little arms up and then just kind of flop them into place that's a nice little design I, I like the pot supports on there just thread that on make sure the valves off thread that on there we go not bad that is nice I like it super small super lightweight if all you're gonna do is heat up a can of soup or make ramen or heat up water for coffee or even in the event of like where I'm at with this little standing water around here if you're trying to get hydrated you could put the water in that pot and boil the water and make it safe to drink so this is absolutely fantastic okay let's go ahead and set the stove down I move my location because it's starting to get windy so I'm kind of hiding behind these rocks yeah you can see the wind hitting the flames there so we're gonna set this on I have about eight ounces of water in there not a lot just a little over a cup so we'll set that there let's grab our lid put the lid on I like this this is nice now from here we can kick this bad boy up a little bit or just take our time either way very nice 
I think this will be a good pot for a motorcycle outing. I haven't even turned it up all the way. There's no need to. So as I'm heating that up, I'm looking at a full-size Bic lighter. And it looks like a full size will fit in the bag. So that's kind of cool. So you'll be able to get the stove and a full size Bic lighter in this bag. That's wonderful. I like that. I'm already at a, at a soft boil. Wow. Look down in there. You see the bubbles already? That is crazy. Already at a mild boil. That thing's performing very well. I'm very impressed with this little stove and this pot. I think they are fantastic and I think they're a good fit or a good match for each other. I really like it. It brought that water up to a boil in no time. That is a nice little stove and it doesn't weigh anything. I like it. Okay, while the stove is cooling, I just want to take a look at the pour spout on this thing and see how well the water pours. Let's take the lid off and then we'll, we'll take that bell off. We'll take the lid off. And I just want to see what it looks like when it pours. Very nice. I like that. One thing that I really like is on the inside of the cup here, how it has this area. That is nice because if you were using leaf matter or pine needles, maybe you're making tea, this will hold a lot of that stuff in the cup instead of being poured out. So that's like your first line of defense when you're making teas and stuff. That is just wonderful. Uh, I really like this kit. I think it's fantastic. Made very well, very durable. I love the butterfly handles. They just fold in right on the side. Everything is very nice. Fire Maple has been doing a really good job on a lot of their products. Is this cool enough to touch? Yeah, it is. Let's fold this up. Flop these down. Backwards. There we go. They're a little tight right now. They're still warm. So we'll fold that up and we'll see. We'll just verify if it'll fit in here with the Bic lighter. If it'll all fit in there I think it will so this is a standard size Bic lighter Wow that is fantastic so obviously you know that this will fit in there and a small four ounce fuel canister will fit in there too so you'd have a complete system ready to go and it doesn't weigh anything I wish I could tell you how much that weighs it's it's absolutely nothing and in the event that you run out of fuel for your stove or something like that you can put titanium over a fire and it's not going to hurt it at all wow i really like this kit so it goes all right here in this little bag and you're good to go very nice so there you go you have a complete kit ready to go everything you need that's fantastic. So folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on this video, taking a look at this ultra light titanium set, this kit that you can get from Fire Maple. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description box down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you on the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.